Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Stormworks video and welcome to episode 10 of our Classic Career Survival Series. In this episode, we'll start working on our new push prop helicopter. The plan for today is to build the fuselage as well as add the propellers and get it all painted so then next episode we can add the engine. I've got a rough idea on how I want this thing to look so hopefully it all turns out alright. But anyway guys, as always, I hope you'll enjoy. Let's get started. Alrighty guys, so here we are in the workbench. So let's just get stuck straight into it. So what we're going to do, I've got a rough idea on how I want this to look. Maybe we'll start with going five wide at the front here. And then we're going to grab some wedges and we'll turn these around. And we'll come down on a bit of an angle, something like this. And then we'll come down uh, one more with a little wedge, just something like this. We'll come along and then we'll have some blocks along the bottom. So this will be the nose of our VTOL. So we'll go something like this. And then we're going to have some windows sitting on the top of here. So we'll leave it just like that for the moment till we sorted that out. Uh, what we need next, I think we're going to use maybe some 2 by 2 should be fine. If we go something like that, and then on the end of here, we might go for a 1 by 2 All right, something like this. That should be fine. And then what we'll do is we're going to have to grab a little one by one We'll turn that around, and we'll fill in the gap here. And then, actually, that bit can stay, I think. That can stay there. And then we'll go something like... Actually, no, that can go, because what we might do, we might end off the side of the helicopter like that. Yeah, it might come down one more, should be fine. And then we'll maybe put a couple blocks in there. And then we'll get a couple smaller wedges and fill in this area just like that. All right, so something like this, the windshield will be on the top here. So let's add that now. Actually, we'll go window in capitals, apparently. <laughs> That's fine. All right, so we need some of these. So I need to make this sit on... Something like that, maybe? That should be fine. I don't know if it needs to be so tall. That should be right. We'll try it. And then we're going to need a 1x4. Is that here somewhere? A 1x4. Yep, yeah, one of these. And we'll put that right next to it, just like that. And then we're going to need... Ooh, is there like a big diamond we can put in here? I think this is what we need, a 2x4x5. So if we turn that around, that should fit right... No? Okay, we have to go like this then. And we'll try that again. We'll chuck that right here. Go boop. Something like that. That should be fine. Looks pretty cool. And then we're going to need another piece on the end of that. So maybe a 4x4 four four corner. Something like... Oh, nothing like that. Like this. That looks pretty cool. We'll leave it like that. And then we'll get rid of this piece. And what we'll do, we'll just fit that with a little inverse pyramid. Fill in that gap just there. Very nice. That looks pretty cool. I like it. So we can get rid of all of that. We probably... We'll leave that like that for a minute. I don't know what's going to go here just at the moment. Actually, we could put a little window in here, couldn't we? All right, we'll leave a little spot for a window. If we come down like this, and then there'll be a window right there. Now, I think underneath here, what I want is a 1x2. So if we turn that around like this, then we'll grab some wedges and turn these up this way. And then there'll be a window sitting right there, and then the floor will be directly underneath. That should be fine. So maybe underneath here, we could continue this coming down, something like that. Yeah, that's probably fine. We're also going to need another one 2x2 uh, two two to hang off the back of this. So if we turn that around just like that i think that's what we need except that's going to, have to come forward a couple of blocks in it so we go like that maybe that's a bit better awesome and then we'll grab some more wedges and we'll fill in the nose just like so and then we need a one by two and we'll do the same thing underneath there just like that awesome so after that we're going to use some one by fours i think so if we come out maybe four just like this that will be where the floor is or maybe the floor will be down one more we'll see how we go something like this has got to go all the way along like that. And then we need to fill in... Should we use a 2x4? That might be okay. Yeah, we'll go with that for now. I might make these some wedges as well. Turn them around this way. Because then the window, you'll be able to see out a bit easier. I think that's the plan. We'll chuck those windows in now. 2x3 uh, would fit there. And then we need a 1x2 angle. Which one is that? This one here, 2x1x1. Two by one by one. I think that's what we need. So turn that around and fit it in just like so. Awesome, so we should be able to, like, the purpose of that window so we can look out down the side there. It doesn't really do too much, I suppose. Maybe we could put some little wedges in there, help us out with that problem a little bit. Yeah, that, that's okay. We'll leave it just like that. That's fine. So now we just need to finish off underneath here. So what we might grab, if we grab a 2x4 inverse pyramid, turn that around. Yeah, something like this. That means they're going to have to go, I think, and we're going to have to use a 1x4 and stick it in that area, just like that, and a 1x4 pyramid as well something like this and then that will just be blocks underneath here i think can i grab some blocks and we'll go like that 
That is looking pretty cool. I like it, I think. I think I like it. <laughs> we might end up changing a few things at some stage, but for now, I do like this quite a bit. So now we'll bring that back a fair bit, and then also going to need some little wedges to go along the bottom, just like this. Yes, very nice. And then that'll just come up, I suppose, something like that. That's fine. That's looking pretty good, I think. I like it. And maybe we can put a little window there, and then the main part of the helicopter can start there. Or maybe to try and make this look a little bit better, if we grab a 1x4, turn that around, and we'll chuck it here. Oh yeah, what if we drag it up one? Yep, just like that. Perfect. We'll leave it like that. And then we'll come up like this, and one more, apparently. Actually, no, we're going to drop it down one block, I think. I don't want it to be too tall. I don't want it to look even more funny than what it's probably already going to. <laughs> That's fine. We'll turn around like that, and we'll bring those back to there for now. This is looking pretty good. I do, I do like this. Uh, what are we going to do with the top here? Maybe... If we grab one of these, we turn that around, just like, oh, turn it this way. Yep, whoop, just like that. Okay, um, we need a two by two. We turn this around as well. All right, that'll fit, nice. And then we'll grab a one by two and we'll go along here. That'll be the main part of the roof, I think. That's a good spot for it. Very nice, it's not too tall. It looks a little bit flat, actually, doesn't it? We'll see, we can always bring it up a little bit, and we'll just see when we put the helicopter, when we put the helicopter, when we put the propellers on the top, but for now, that looks pretty good, I like it. All right, so I might just take a little bit off the back, maybe we'll go about here, and we might start bringing it in a little bit, it's probably best. So I think what we might do, if we grab some one by four wedges, and we'll go like this, and bring that all the way up, something like that would be fine, we'll just fill that in like so. I think, but yeah, we don't want it to be too long, oh, it is going to be pretty long, we'll see how we go. We can always change things later on, so that's okay. So then we'll come in like this. Nice. And then we'll just keep the back coming down, I suppose, for now. So if we go something like... We'll turn that around and we'll just go like that. We'll just leave it like that for the moment. Um, so what we've got to do next, we've got to work on the top, I think. So what we might do, if we grab a few little wedges and we come along like this, and then what we can do, grab one of these, turn that around just like so... And we'll get a one by two, and we'll make this come up. So this will, be, will hold the engine, I think. When we go like this, yeah, that, that's fine. And then we'll grab a one by four, maybe try and round it off a little bit more. Something like, oh, can I drag that up one block? Thank you. Just like that. Okay, that's fine. We'll get a few more wedges. We'll fill this all in. We'll go along like that. And we'll need some one by fours as well. Turn them around and go along like that. Okay, so this is going to be where the engine's going to be stored and then the propeller's going to sit right on the top of this. So this should be pretty good. We need to make it look good, that's all. Uh, so what we'll do, we'll go along like... Let's just go to there for now and then we'll have some wedges sitting on the top to kind of round it off a little bit. So we can go like that and then we'll grab some more wedges and we'll just fill in the top of there. Okay, that's looking pretty good. I like it. And then we'll have the two propellers sitting up there and then we'll have a push prop at the back. This is going to be really cool. Uh, so we'll drag that forward and we'll just bring it down a little bit, something like that. So what we might do, we need to start bringing the back of this up a little bit and in at the same time. So what we might do, maybe we could put some wedges down the bottom to begin with. Go like this, yes. And then we'll grab one of these and we'll just chuck that right there. That should be fine. And then after that, we might just go flat for a little bit, maybe eight blocks or so. If that will be two wedges. So for eight, is that eight blocks? Yes, it is. We'll come down one more. Something like that. Actually, nah, we'll just have it flat for four, then we'll go up again at the next four. That'll be fine. So what we'll do, if we grab... Ooh, this is a bit tricky, isn't it? Um, <laughs> we need to try and make this all kind of blend together, that's all. So maybe if we get rid of that one as well, and we come up like that, so then there'll be another angle here. So that means we can fill this in, that'll be flat. And then we'll have another one coming up like so. And then we'll go another four flat again. So we'll come out four, and we'll fill that little area in. Except what we'll do, we might put... Okay, we'll get rid of this, and we might just go like this then. It might be a bit better. We'll go like that oh, on the flat. Yep, yep. Something like this. <laughs> That'd be fine. And then we'll come up again. Okay, this this might work. We'll see how we go. This bit's got to come in, that means. So that's all got to go then. Oh, dearie me. Okay, so we'll keep going along here. So we'll just go like this. Yeah, something like that. That'll be fine. And then there's going to be some more wedges that come up along this bit, just like so. And we'll have to come out a few more and in a few more as well. Alright guys, so I think I've got a pretty good shape. It kind of comes up, then it's a step, then up and a step all the way up until here. Then it kind of curves up a little bit more at the back. And then what we'll do, we'll have our push prop sitting about here, I think. So we might just put a pipe to kind of indicate whereabouts we want that to go. So we'll just turn it just like that. Nice. Now, what we need to do next, we need some little wings out the back here with some control surfaces on it. So what we might do, if we just get a few blocks and we'll make some little wing look-alike things, I suppose. Something like 
That, that is huge in there. <laughs> they definitely don't need to be that big. And then, as long as they fit some control surfaces in, that's all. Uh, so if these little ones fit in, can I turn them around that way? Yeah, something like this. We chuck them in there. Yeah, that's pretty good. We need to fill in this area, though, so it doesn't look like it's got a big hole in it. Uh, so what we could do about that, maybe if we just get some blocks, probably be the easiest thing to do there. All right, just like this. And maybe just on these last pieces here, we can grab a 1x2 and turn that around like that. That makes it look a little bit more presentable, I think. <laughs> Something like that. And then we'll just come along like so. Very good. So what we'll do just on here, make it look a little bit more pretty. Maybe we could go like that and put some 1x4s on it. Just to kind of make it look a bit more like a wing, I guess. Something like that. And we'll plug that in like so. Very nice. So what else we could do to this? If we grab some wedges, we might put some sort of upside down looking winglet thing on the back. I don't know. <laughs> Something like this. And we could turn this one around. Go like that. Good. We'll fill this in as well. Boop. Yeah. We'll leave it like that for now and see. So what I've done as well between episodes, I've gained one more point. Um, there was a little fire over at Terminal Spy Cakes, and I just put the fire out, and we got one more point for that, which is really good. Um, so that has allowed us to unlock everything we need, but we have no points left over at all, not even one. <laughs> but we do have propellers and everything, so that's really good. So we need to pick one to put on the back here. Should we put a light rotor on it? Can we adjust that? Oh, we can. Okay, maybe we should put something like this on there. I don't know if that would be all right. Yeah, something like that. We'll leave that there for a minute and probably put it in neutral as well. Yeah, or should we bring it up one maybe? That might be a better idea if we put it there. That'd be a bit better. Maybe. We'll leave it like that for now and we'll see. But um, yeah, that should be pretty cool. So we'll just leave it like that. Looks awesome. Very nice. Look at that. <laughs> anyway, we need to sort out what we're going to do with this. So maybe what we could do if we come along. We have to fill that in anyway, I'm pretty sure. And we'll come along one more. If we grab some 1x4 wedges... And if we start coming up about here, we we'll make that fit. That should be all right. It's going to have to come out one more as well, though, isn't it? So maybe if we go four here, then we'll come up one more. And then maybe we'll get rid of these ones as well. And then that can start coming in, perhaps. Something like this. That's probably fine. And then we're going to have to make that come down. We can make that work. We'll use a few little bits and pieces to fill that in. If we go like that. That should be fine. Nice. Cool. We'll leave it like that then. And we'll fill that little piece in as well. That is looking pretty cool. I really like this. That is awesome. <laughs> and then we have the engine sitting in here. So what we'll do, make a little spot for the roof. We'll just go along here, I suppose. Something like that. And we'll just fill that in like this. And there's a little hole back here as well. Boop. Nice. Okay, and we'll just go up to there. Very good. So probably, how tall is that if we put floor here? One, two, three, four, seven tall inside. That is really good, actually. So what we'll do, we'll put the floor along like that. And then we'll go up to here. And I don't know how we're going to do inside of here just yet. Maybe they can go like this and then put those like that. This dash piece here can probably be filled in as well as that, I guess. Why not? And maybe we can put just a few wedges in. Or maybe these ones rather. You can just sort some of these out and put them down there. That'd be fine. Nice. And we'll get a couple of seats as well and chuck them in while we're here. Something like that, I suppose. Why not? And I was just looking at it as well. We could probably have some exhaust come out here. That'd be pretty neat. So maybe if we had um, a pipe perhaps or just some exhaust, maybe just some exhaust pieces if they kind of stuck out here towards the back. And then we can just fill this in with some little wedges or something like that. Fill the gap in. That looks pretty cool. I like it. On the real one of these that they're developing now, they have like a little tail fin that kind of hangs down here. I think it looks pretty cool. So we might try and do something like that. If we grab a little wedge, turn this around, Wait, just like so, and maybe we could bring that down. I don't know how low we need this to go. <laughs> uh, if we bring that up a little bit more. Okay, what can we do with this? So maybe if we grab a wedge and we need to stand it up all the other way, isn't it? All right, so if we come down maybe four blocks, grab a one by four wedge out and we'll stand it up this way, something like that. And then perhaps we could come back around like this. Maybe two blocks should be fine. And then we'll fill that area back in. Yes. And then maybe we could have one more go towards the front. Would that be all right? Something like that. Some sort of little tail fin. I don't know if that's thick enough. <laughs> it looks fine. We might leave it like that for now anyway. Uh, what I'd like to do next, I'd like to work out whereabouts we're going to have these repellers. So maybe go along this area here. That should be fine. Now we're going to do something a little bit different. So I'll just grab some pipes. Uh, we'll probably end up taking these out by next episode so we can actually start working on the engine. But for now, 
we'll just chuck them all in. So what we'll do if we go propeller on top of that area. So I'm going to build like this little thing around it so it looks cool. <laughs> so something like this, a little bit like so. And then plug that. Oh, can I even do it? There we go. Awesome. So we'll get some propellers out. So we're going to need some rotor large. And we'll go like that. Very nice. And then what we'll do, we'll grab another pipe, stick it on top. And then we're going to have another propeller on the top there. So we'll go like this. And we're going to fill in all around it. And we're going to make the same little piece uh, that I had on the bottom there. We'll turn this back around and fill that in. No, definitely not like that. <laughs> like so. Nice. And then we'll chuck one more propeller on the top. It's looking pretty cool. I think they're a little bit too big though, maybe. Well, let's uh, chuck a few more blades on. Maybe six blades on each one. It'd be pretty nice. And we'll go on to neutral. All right, so that will clear that rear rotor. So maybe we should leave it like that. That looks pretty cool. I like it. <laughs> the next thing I'd like to do is add some sort of landing gear on the front. So there's a problem. We don't really have many pivots or any at all. We only have these giant ones. So they might have to do, unfortunately. So what we might do, we're on both sides. If we chuck some right here, the landing gear is going to have to come off these, unfortunately. But if we go like that, and then we'll just fill this in, I suppose. And then we have to come off here. <laughs> this is going to be a bit weird. We need some wheels with suspension. Some of these ones, I think. Oh, dear me. How on earth is this going to work? Uh, that looks horrible. What can I do here? we bring this in one block maybe would that be a little bit better all right guys that seems to be the best design i can come up with it's just kind of those suspension parts with wheels on them more or less and a few little wedges and bits and pieces but that is okay we'll spawn it and see what it looks like yes very nice so i have to put a little wheel on the back of that so we'll go and do that real quick i really wanted to put some sliding doors on the side of here like right here i thought it'd be pretty cool but we don't have any compact pivot parts so I don't know if you guys want me to go and unlock all of that by next episode. Uh, I'll probably do it off camera so you guys don't have to watch it all. But let me know. Otherwise, I might just put some regular doors in. But I thought sliding doors would be cool. So let me know what you think about that. Now, both these wheels, I've enlarged them both to number two on the radius. So they'll be fine. We'll just leave it like that. This back piece, I think we might make it a little bit bigger. It looks a little bit funny, I think. So we might bring it back. Maybe even just one more block will help a lot. So if we just come down like this. And we'll chuck this on there. Turn that around. Yeah, that should be fine. And if we just put a little wheel on the back, something mini. Uh, <laughs> this might be a bit too small, actually. Hmm. What if we make a little area for that to sit? Something like this? I oh, don't know. Let's pull that in and see what it looks like. Ugh. Okay, it's too high up. Right, it's sitting very level. I kind of wanted the back to sit down a little bit. So let's go and sort that out. Okay, so I can't seem to really come up with anything better than this, to be honest. I know it doesn't really look great. Let's see if it works. Should be right. Uh, yeah, angle's back pretty nice. I, I do like the way it sits. I just don't know about that little piece there. Maybe if we unlock compact pivots, we can have like a long thing that comes down and hangs it down nicely. Might look a little bit better. I sort of got a fair idea how we could do that. But for now, I think we might just leave it like that. So what we want to do next, we're going to quickly add some little wings on the side. The only thing is we sort of need to keep in mind where we're going to put these doors. Uh, but anyway, we'll have to put some wings in either way. So what we'll do, maybe we could start about here. And we'll grab some wedges. Now, I don't know how swept back I want them to be, but we'll see how we go. Maybe if we come around like this. Something like, oh, I don't know about this, man. Or maybe we should use some 1x4s rather. That might be a little bit better. Maybe if we come out, maybe... Three blocks on each side, three blocks, three lots of these wedges, something like that. And perhaps we could fill this in like this, maybe, I don't really know. And maybe some of these little wedges, maybe we'll un take some of that out. If we go like, oh dear man, this is, I don't know how this is going to look. We go like this, oh, nah, I don't like that. <laughs> maybe we could just put some of these in. We start about here, turn this around and we go... Like, how do we even have to do this? Like that, and we'll bring this back out like so. That might be okay. That might be fine. Uh, maybe a little bit thicker. All right, so I've just got a bit of an idea. I think what we might do, we might grab these wing pieces that we've just built, and we might move them down slightly. Maybe one block will be fine. So we'll paste that in there. And then we'll go over here and do the exact same thing. So go all the way over and up one. Grab it and we'll move it down one block. So paste that and we'll merge that all together just like so. So what we might do, we need to kind of make this all join up somehow. So let's grab some of these. We'll turn them around. Bring that all the way to the end, something like that. And then we're going to need some wing pieces. So we'll grab one of these bad boys. 
Make sure it's up the right way. Yep, and we'll chuck it right here. Should be just fine. I think that'll fit. And then we'll put some blocks in there, kind of fill that in a little bit. And then we need to try and work out what we're going to do back here. Maybe we could just um, put some of these in just like this. Yep, that'd be fine. Turn that around and that will probably do. That doesn't look too bad, I don't think. I don't know, we could probably round off the corner a little bit, couldn't we? Yeah, let's try and do that. Let's see what we can come up with. Maybe we could just grab some basic parts just like this. Just to fill it in a little bit, make it look a slight bit better would be nice. So we'll go like, hey, too far. <laughs> like that, maybe. And then we'll do the same thing along here. And along the bottom will just be a bit of a square. And then we'll just put the same thing on the back part like this. And grab one of these and chuck it in there. I don't think that looks too bad. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it looks great, to be honest. You know what we could do as well? Uh, whereabouts? Yeah, all right. So we could probably fit another wing piece in right here as well. That probably wouldn't hurt. So we'll turn that around. Which way up is that? Yep, that's the correct way, I think. When you get rid of a few more, go boom. Just like that. So that is facing up ways, but it is backwards. <laughs> turn that around and we'll go right there. Oh, that does stick out a little bit, doesn't it? That's not too bad. That'll, that'll be fine. <laughs> whereabouts do we put that there? Oh, we can come back one more. Let's do that instead. That's a bit better. And boom. Nice. All hidden. Very good. So what I might do, I might give this thing a quick paint and then we'll spawn it in and see how it looks. Alrighty, guys. As you can see, all the painting is done. We have some orange, some gray with some black stripes. And I've used lots of, of these signs so we can make some nice lines on there. So I'll show you what that looks like. I think it looks pretty good. I don't mind it at all. Uh, the back's probably a little bit funny just there, but that's the best I can do for what we've got. But I think it looks pretty nice. So what we'll do, we're going to spawn this bad boy in and have a little bit of a look. Oh, there it is. Big suspension on the front. That looks really cool. I really like that. Very nice. So next episode, we're going to add our engine in and hopefully have it running next episode. That'd be pretty cool. We're probably going to use the small modular engine. We're going to make like a huge one in the top there. Maybe 30 cylinders or something. I'm not too sure. We'll see how we go. On a side note, though, I am pretty happy with this front landing gear. I don't know why it's bouncing like that so much, but anyway, <laughs> I think it looks pretty good, and obviously it's bouncy too, so we can sort of slam it down the ground and not have to worry too much about being too careful, I suppose. We also need a door to be able to get in because we can't get in at the moment, but that's fine. And this rear landing gear, I think, is a little bit strange, but it works well, but it does look a little bit funny, but... Maybe that's something we can fix up in another video. That's all right. But anyway, that might do us for today. I'd like to thank you all very much for watching. I'll see you all in the next video.